Shalom is real. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim Rekakwadash, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect. And this lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, will be entitled, An Horrific Time is Coming Upon You, Jakes. And when I say Jakes, it's referring to Jacob, which his name was later changed to Israel. All right, in Israel today, are you so-called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? All right, you're the lost uh, uh, sheep of the house of Israel. Okay, you're the ones that's lost. All right, and and not only that, you're lost. All right, by following all of the all these other false gods. All right, but you're um you're forsaken. Nobody wants you, and that's the curses, man. You know, the scriptures say you shall be the tail always. And um, I was just meditating upon slavery and how much of a horrific, you know, thing that was. And you think to yourself, you know, and, and, and when you think about the people that actually did those heinous acts to you that, that ripped your, the baby out of the, the, the woman's stomach. That raped the man in front of his wife Shit that raped the man You know You know that sold, That separated families This man even though he's the devil We know that the Lord Orchestrates all of this The Lord orchestrates everything that's done upon the earth So the most high put the spirit upon his devil To do this entire people Because of their iniquities Okay And to this day Slavery is a, is a very it's a very um what's the word I'm looking for? It's a very heavy topic. You know? It's a very heavy topic. And um it's so heavy that Jake feels like they feels that they should get reparations for it for it. Alright? But um back, you know, not to not to uh stare off too much, you know, that came upon us from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai because of Jake's Iniquity, the Lord actually turned his back upon us for a season, man. You know, and um, as it says right here in Deuteronomy 36 to 17, it says, But Jeshuron waxed fat and kicked, thou art waxing fat, thou art grown thick, thou art covered with fatness. Then he forsook God which made him and lightly esteemed the rock of his salvation. And that's that's what it is today, man. Our people. They glory, hey, our people, our people living it up in Babylon, man. You know, the woman riding around with, um, you know, BMWs and Audis, you know, the men committing adultery and getting away with it. Our people living it up here, man. You got certain of our people that's uh, sold out to Satan, therefore they have riches. You know, you got the guy, um, Floyd Mayweather, he's living it up, man. He's got uh, riches on top of riches, cars on top of cars, women on top of women. All right, many of our people, man, Jay-Z, Kanye West, Kanye West, Salaki, you know, so therefore they forget you how about Shimmy, how shot. They living it up here, man. You know, you got our women who actually make it big as rap stars by talking, uh, you know, by, by glorifying being a whore. Meanwhile, the men are glorifying, um, you know, stealing and killing and selling drugs, committing adultery, and they get away with it. They make a lot of money off of it, man. All right? Therefore, they forget Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. So, what do you think their judgment is going to be? All right? Because they did these things. All right? As I said before, there was a reason for slavery. That reason, in plain and simple... Is because they went against Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah, their power. They provoked him to jealousy with strange gods, with abominations provoked they him to anger. So the Most High was fed up, man. All right, the Most High was fed up with Jake and a BS, man. You know, constantly, you know, <clears throat> turning their back on the Lord and serving strange gods, man. You know, throughout history, the, the Greek Empire. 
They served strange gods. They went into slavery. All right. The heathen put hell upon them. And the Lord took them out of it. The Roman Empire. Same thing. All right. The uh, Syrian Empire. The, the Babylonian Empire. Same thing, man. And our people don't learn, man. So the Most High, you know, he at, he turned his back upon us at a point in time, man. You know? And right now, you know, he's basically showing us mercy by him bringing out his word and his prophets throughout the four corners of the earth. You know? And, um, you know, you're going to have certain, certain of Israel that's going to get it. But for the majority... You know, the Most High is going to turn his back upon him once again. All right. That's known as Jacob's trouble. All right. Jacob's trouble came as we're about to read when Israel did not hearken until Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. They did not do right by the Lord. In which case today we see that the same way, man. You know, I'm on, you know, shopping, going shopping. You know, all over here, these two women talking. One woman talking about, I'm going to marry your mom. Like, what the fuck? Then I go to another store. It's a sodomite laughing all loud and boisterous and stuff. You know? So sodomy is rampant, man. You know? So, hey, there's a recompense for everything you do. As the scriptures say in Colossians 3 and 25. They sacrifice unto devils, not to God. To gods whom they knew not. To new gods that came newly up. Whom your fathers feared not. Of the rock that beget thee, thou art unmindful, and hast forgotten God that formed thee. You know, you got our people in these Christian churches. You got most of our people are Muslims. If they're not Christians, they're Muslims or they're Catholics. For the so-called Hispanics and Haitians. All right? It says, of the rock that beget thee, thou art unmindful. Of your help, I was shot that brought you out of Egypt, man. You know, of your help by Shimei that uh you know gave you the prophets whom you slew, whom you continue to uh, slay. Of that rock ye are unmindful, man. Okay, and has forgotten God that formed thee. And when Yahweh saw it, he abhorred them because of the provoking of his sons and of his daughters. And he said, I will hide my face from them, I will see what their end shall be. Okay, and when you look at black culture, all right, actually, let's go to that, man. Let's see what Israel's end is, man. You know, world star. You know, you have an ignorant moment and, and you have a Jake, you know, they, they scream out world star. Look at the folly up here, man. Look at this shit. Lady fighting in Walmart with an infant strapped to her chest. All right. This is our people, man. Two women. Jump a lady in a wheelchair. You see the folly of our people, man? We can go on and on, man. You have countless... You know, articles where Jake is getting shot in their own house. You know? Look at this. This is fucking folly, man. Folly. You know, this is what Jake's end is, man. Folly, foolishness, wickedness in all shapes. All right. In, in ways, man. You know, this is what Jake is into, man. That one is not bad. <laughs> but Salaki. This is yeah. That that's probably the That's the best one to be honest. Dude catches a beat down by his friends after they found he was low-key gay. That's that's alright. You know, that's what's supposed to happen. 
But other than that, it's all wickedness and folly. You know? And the scriptures say, and he said, I will hide my face from them and I will see what the end shall be. Jake is so messed up. They don't even see they messed up. Like the brother, the leader of I camp always says, man. Jake's so fucked up, they don't even see they 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 fuck they fuckery. For they are a very forward generation, children in whom is no faith. They have moved me to jealousy with that which is not God. Alright? Which in a nutshell, their folly, they doing that, they following that of their father, the devil. All right, foolish, fully folly, foolishness, you know. Our people, man, if only our people would turn back to you, how about shimmy, how shy, but they, they, they love it here, man. All right, it says they moved me to jealousy with that which is not God, which is Esau. All right, serving Esau, serving, um, you know, the creature more than the creator, as the scriptures say, you know, our people. Our people's religion nowadays is based off of what somebody else says. It's not really, it's not an actual uh, personal relationship. You know, that's how going our people is. They have provoked me to anger with their vanities, and I will move them to jealousy with those which are not a people. I'll provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. For a fire is kindled in my anger, it shall burn into the lowest hell, and shall consume the earth with her increase. And set on fire the foundations of the mountains. I will heap mischiefs upon them. I will spend my hours upon them. Okay. And that's a. Hey, going into even slavery, man. All right. The 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 uh. Uh, let's see, baby. Oh, they don't show it. <laughs> Female slave burnt, mutilated, and a child being cut out of her womb. These things happen on a day to day, man, in slavery. And it's many um it's many instances, let's see, uh slaves. Let's see Lynch then you know, these things happen to Jake because of their iniquities, because the Lord turned his eyes you know, took his protection away from us, man. Alright, when you think of lynching, when you think of anything bad, when you think of slavery, when you think of lynching, alright, when you think of rape, when you think of, um, you know, unjust, unjust kill, who you think of, man? You think of Jake, you think of a so-called black man, alright? That's who you think of, man. Which, hey, goes right with the scriptures. I will heap mischiefs upon them. I will spend my arrows upon them. They shall be burnt with hunger and devoured with, with burning heat and with bitter destruction. All right? With bitter destruction. All right? And that happened in slavery and it's going to come back. You know? And we see that throughout the uh, four corners of the earth as far as protest goes. All right? There's no coincidence that these things are happening all right, in, in Hispanic, uh, so-called Hispanic countries and so-called, uh, you know, Haitian countries, you know, over there in Haiti, over there in Chile, over there in Venezuela. Why is that, man? Because they provoke you. How about Shim Yahweh shot a rap? All right, and we see what their end is, man. It's just a, a great death, famine, destruction. All right? So Jake, hey, man, Jake is really headed for a bad day. They, they're headed for, you know... They're headed for, for some uh, destruction, man. All right? 
And now people never learn, man. Now people are hard headed. So therefore they gotta learn the hard way. Just like in slavery, they learned the hard way. They're gonna have to learn the hard way. And to Wadi how about Shimi I was shot at this is really the last time, man. You know? The scriptures say, um, I believe it's in the book of Isaiah. Why should you be stricken anymore? You shall provoke you will provoke more than more. You know? So after this, this is it, man. And our people, man, <laughs> hey man, the water you help out was shot even for his mercies. It says, I will also send the teeth of beasts upon them with the poison of serpents of the dust. The sword without and terror within shall destroy both the young man and the virgin, the suckling also with the man of great hairs. I said I will scatter them into corners. I will make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. You know, I did a video the other day about, um, you know, uh, Israelite inventors. You know, most people don't know about that, man. Most people don't know about, um, don't have a, a, a true understanding of the dark ages. Most, most people don't know that, you know, the characters in the Bible are dark skin, man. You know, that we are God's chosen people. You know, whereas in the ancient world, that was a, a you know, that was a, um, a, a known, a well-known uh, a fact, man. These were the children of the Lord, man. As a matter of fact, when you go into the book of Judith, you had an uh, Ammonite, I forgot his name, but he was breaking it, he he was even breaking it down. He was saying, um, I'm just grab it, you know, because that was a well-known fact who we were, man, who we represented, man. But now our people represent death, all right, or, or Esau Edom, showing you that that's their power. This is Judith 5 and 17. And, while they, and whilst they sinned not before their God, they prospered because God that hated for iniquity was with them. But when they departed from the way which he appointed them in righteousness, they were destroyed in many battles very sore and were led captives into a land that was not theirs. And the temple of their power was cast to the ground and the cities were taken by enemies. Okay. And it's not, it's not that uh, what, what it just uh, told us in uh, Deuteronomy 32nd chapter. All right. Now they which are no people. All right, you have these gutter rats in our land. All right, and, and, and our people so sleep, they actually think they the real Jews, man. You know, that's a proverb among that's a proverb amongst Jake, man. The Jews, you know, don't let the Jews buy up your house. You know, what I'm, or don't, don't let the Jews uh, move into your neighborhood. The Jews are super rich, this, that, and the third. They that are no people have taken your spot, man. The world thinks that they that these Amalekites, these gutter rats, are you. And he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end shall be. For they are a very forward generation. Children in whom is no faith. <laughs> they have moved me to jealousy with that which is no God. Oh, Slaki, I was at 24. They shall be burnt with hunger and devoured with burning heat. And with bitter destruction. You see? Our people are being devoured at the, to this very day with bitter destruction because they can't get right, man. All right, that's what hey, that's that's what the prophets are here for you for, man, to tell you to turn back from your ways because the Lord is getting ready to destroy this society, man, this this way of life. All right, this kingdom. All right, this world, and when I say world, I mean um, in in a sense of a uh, what's the word eon. Or this, this rulership Alright And with bitter destruction I will also send the teeth of beasts upon them With the poison of serpents of, of the dust Does not the scripture say The day of the Lord um, Basically going into how the day of the Lord Is going to be very destructive man In Amos the 5th chapter As if you escape the bear and the serpent met you Alright The Lord is really going to The scriptures also speak about how the, um, the animals Shall change their places all right, so this is literal too, man. The teeth of beasts, I will also send the teeth of beasts upon them with the poison of serpents of the dust. The sword without and the terror within shall destroy the both the young man and the virgin, the suckling also with the man of gray hairs. I said I will scatter them into corners. All right, our people are scattered all throughout the four corners of the earth. 
I will make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. And wherever we scatter, best believe we on the bottom, we in the ghettos, we look down upon. Were it not that I feared the wrath of the enemy, lest the adversary should behave themselves strangely, and lest they should say, Our hand is high, and yet how have not done all this? For they are a nation void of counsel, neither is there any understanding in them. Oh, that they were wise, that they understood this, that they would consider their latter end. Okay, and this is what we're telling our people. Consider what's coming to you. Destruction is coming to you, man. Death is coming to you, man. All right? And for hey, for those that, you know, obey, obey Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, life is coming to you, man. You're going to get spiritual powers, man. You're going to renew your strength. The Lord is going to look out for you, man. The Lord is going to fight for you, man. All right? So what side would you rather be on at the end of the, you know, when shit, when shit goes down, man? As they say, when shit hits the fan. Okay? You know? So that was it, man. Just remember, man. You know, the fear of the Lord is everything, man. Remember slavery. That came unto you from the Lord, Yahweh Shim Yahweh Shah. Alright? So with that, Shalom to the elect.